you guys met while going to Belmont, am I right? We did. Tell yep. us about the scene in Nashville at the time. And did you guys ever imagine that the band would get so big? <laughs> yeah, what, 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 yeah, what was your aim starting out? Like, what were you trying to be? Well, it's kind of funny. I, I was uh, playing baseball at the time. So, like, my schedule at Belmont was, was pretty insane. I was a junior. Um, like, just as any, you know, college athlete, just the schedules are kind of insane. And I personally being at Belmont for me, I, I didn't really, you know, come with this like intentionality of like starting a band or even like, I just between the three of us, I guess more people are going to watch this. <laughs> just between yeah. the three, there'll but be, be, yeah, I, yeah, a few more people. I didn't, I didn't really believe in myself enough at the time to like really think that people would want to listen to my music or the songs that I was writing. I was very passionate about it. Um, but it was more like when, when, when I met the guys, it was like, I was getting kind of pressured from my mom to make an EP. Cause like, I really like these songs. I think other people would like them. Um, you, she would just like speak life over me. You know, you have like a unique voice and I think you have something to say. And, um, so when I met Nate and Brian, um, they didn't know me. All they knew about me is I was a baseball player. And um, I just kind of called them. I said, uh, you guys, I would love to just jam with you guys. Nate was the only banjo major at Belmont. Uh, Brian was the only mandolin major. Um, I kind of had this vision or epiphany or whatever you want to call it, dream, like with my music that this was, these were the right instruments for it. Um, we played that one day and then Nate literally approached me like two days later and was like, I think we're a band. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we just made an EP and um, we put it up on Noise Trade at the time. It was like kind of right before the streaming became the streaming thing, I think. So we we didn't put it up on, or we put it up on iTunes for like a dollar, you know, a song or 99 cents or whatever. But then uh, we gave it away for free for um, for an exchange of email and Noise Trade and ended up somehow getting on their like top spot which kind of helped the downloads and I think we ended up with like 70,000 emails or something at the end of the no end way. of the campaign and then we were like we got to do this let's go and so I finished baseball the next year my senior year and um, the boys dropped out of school and then we were kind of off 